Master. Hello and welcome to another episode of Pop Vox Presents. I am Phil Vecchio, and we have a very fun and special episode for you guys today. We are joined by the Spivvies. Yay! Yay! And uh, we have all of them here now. Yes, Rob is here. In fact, if you guys would be so kind, would you please introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Clark. I'm Ivan. I'm Rob. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. <laughs> we are. These Spivvies. These Spivvies. Yes. There we go. Wait. So Rob close. was third? So close. No. <laughs> Why didn't we practice this beforehand? I... Now I look like a fool. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get my chair. <laughs> we we'll one more time. <laughs> it's, oh. it's happened. It's already it's already happened. It's yeah. great. Uh, it's fantastic. It's live. <laughs> Where is Rob? What is he doing? <laughs> I'm moving my chair. <laughs> He's getting a chair. He's getting a chair. Uh, this is a treat. Thank you guys so much for joining me um, on today's episode. I have uh, had a lot of fantastic artists over the last uh, couple of years doing the show, uh, but I probably have the most direct and personal connection with you guys of all, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, for those not familiar, would anyone like to volunteer to give us like maybe a 30 to 45 second history of these spivvies? How did, how did you guys come to be where we're at today? Big question. Um, Go Clark. Well, we all we all went to college together, and and Ivan and I uh, started started liking the this idea of this music that we were getting into, and and uh, we started writing, and that's that's kind of where it went. I I don't I don't know what else to say. I. That's good. Then Rob and Chris came along. Well, I was I was Clark's roommate for like ever, but then. I got married, and then Clark and Ivan lived together for a while, and right, and then was right. the thing, did they start while I was? That was before I was married. I don't know. I can't remember. So, I hey. was. I came a little bit later, like um, like weeks. Well, but but the the fact is, didn't we have the same thing as the Beatles? You guys had a different drummer before me. Did we? Yeah. I don't think so. Another I, think we, I think we I think we tried out a different drummer. Exactly. And he took off his shirt in the first practice, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> and he got really rocking. And it's funny, I don't remember much of that, but I remember he took off his shirt. I don't remember that at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. I kind of remember a little Paquette? bit of that, but I Oh my goodness, I remember. Don't Paquette. you guys remember it was hey. Chris Paquette? Oh, I remember Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he took his shirt off. He was off. a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I'm going to take over this guy because he was a guy I'd go surfing with and stuff. And they were like, yeah, we tried him out, but he was too hard rock. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I guess I can try to do, you know, I'm a weenie. Yeah, sure, let's try this out. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. a very, very apt description. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I became aware of these spivvies very pretty early on. I think probably the first time that I came across you was at a Lollapaloma event that I think, Clark, you put those on. Is that correct, down at Point Loma? Yep, that's correct. And I don't remember which year it was, maybe 95 or 96, somewhere in there, was the first one I saw. And shortly thereafter, like after you guys played, I went up to you guys at the table and talked to you and asked you to come and play a concert up in Big Bear, where I grew up, up in the mountains, because we had nothing going on up there. And believe yeah. it or not, after digging through the garage, I found a flyer from the first ever concert that I brought you guys up to Big Bear to play, and I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to preface it by saying that at the time, the tools I had to create this were Microsoft Paint and a really killer uh, clip art package. And this was, <laughs> this was it there. <laughs> Hey, um, nice. so there you go and you can kind of see for some nice. reason there's a ladybug at the top okay i don't hey. know that was that's what i had that was so good, Bill. there we go that was in like 1996 oh. or i believe like fall of 96 oh no june Did that become your chef's kiss on everything you put a little, a little yeah. ladybug i was trying out some branding good. options oh. that one didn't stick but yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty tough. yeah. And then from there, like we, I helped uh, book a number of shows with you guys until at yeah. one point, um, and I will never forget this. I don't know if you guys remember when it happened, but 
you guys came out to a club in Riverside it's called Club Metro, which is like a nightclub type of place. And for whatever reason, they asked Sounds- me to put on like a concert there. <laughs> and I had you guys Sounds come like out and play. Go. There was like five people there, maybe. And you guys played still. Job. You did a killer job. And afterwards, you asked if I'd be willing to come along on tour with you guys as a sound guy. Yeah. And and I said, yes. The rest is history. <laughs> and the rest is history. So. I think that what you didn't know, you didn't know. Is- yes, I don't I don't remember that, but. But I believe it either. <laughs> well, I remember it very clearly because I was like, you know, kind of responsible for the booking of the show. But I didn't like like they called me and asked me for some bands and I didn't like promote the thing other than just putting out flyers for them. And then we showed up and no one was there. I've got the flyer for that one here as well. Uh, they made this one. I have nothing to do with this flyer. The Jam for the Lamb concert. Jam for the Lamb. With these spivvies and Joy Electric. Hey, I did not make this one, um, but I don't know why no one showed Hold up Hold up again. That. Let me see. Let's see. Hold up again. There we go. Jam for the Lamb. That's awesome. Yeah. So wow. somehow after that, you guys still asked me to come on tour with you. So. <laughs> And then my one other story that I'm going to share of my experience early on, and, and then I'll turn it over to you guys some, but the first time, like, after that, you guys had me come, and I was it was up at a church camp, I want to say, like in Arrowhead or something like that. You guys were playing a thing there, and you asked me to come along and help, you know, do some roadie-type duties, and, you know, help, I helped unload all the stuff off the stage, and Rob asked me to go get his bass, and I went to go grab it, and it was sitting, you know, upright, and I picked it up, and the case swung open, and the base tumbled out and smashed to the ground, because it wasn't closed. And I was like, uh. oh, that's it. They're never going to ask me to do anything ever again. <laughs> but Rob was very cool about it. And I think someone else berated him for not closing the case. Someone, I don't remember who, said, you are you never close your case. And I was like, oh, you guys didn't have to do that. But anyway, that's my that's how I got involved i don't remember that phil i don't remember that phil i was very i was afraid i was like i ruined everything and you guys were really cool about it so yeah i just remember you were always there with a smile and you were always like uh into helping us out and you were always a good sport so that's my that's my memories and uh of our taunting of you and our 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 general mistreatment of you phil (laughs) sorry (laughs) i survived yes you did (laughs) Uh, one other thing, I, I said I was just going to tell one, but I'm going to share one more. The first date I ever went on with Janelle, uh, we were supposed to go to like this banquet thing at our college, and I convinced her instead to go with me to a concert, and it was a these Spivvies show. And part of the way I convinced her was I said, oh, I know these guys. I had them play a show for me. Trust me. I, you know, I, I'm friends with the band. And then you guys, like, because we kind of got there right as the first song was, was starting, and somebody in the band was like, oh, Phil, like, from the stage. And I was like, yeah, see? see? <laughs> I told you I know the band. You're cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, so the other Phil. Oh, I forgot no, to mention. One. I always introduce Janelle, cool and I forgot one. I was so excited. No, you didn't. Did you also Hi, tell guys. her the only people who ever liked us were the bartenders? Right. <laughs> Which is funny because I don't think alcohol sales would go up while we were playing. Maybe right. they did. Now, I, I think it's because we know. gave them a chance to take a break, is what I like. Right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no one's going to order any drinks. Hey, you guys sounded great. I got a chance to listen to you. That's right. I, I actually remember us playing up at that uh, Arrowhead place. It wasn't. It wasn't when you dropped it, but. Didn't somebody break your guitar, Clark? Didn't your good wasn't yeah, wasn't it your Yeah, that was during camp though. That wasn't our actual like so that's the, what's really funny about that memory is that is where I met my wife was at, at those two weeks. So <laughs> we were up there like uh Chris and I were in a uh, a worship band that I put together and then the Spivvies came up and played. We did um we did a night each one of those weeks. So yeah. But yeah, no, my um, my acoustic guitar was on stage, you know, during some camp shenanigans, and somebody somebody knocked it off and broke the headstock right off. Oh, literally, yeah. That was didn't I use to, didn't I use that guitar to pay you for something? You did, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we were living together in uh, in San Diego. You couldn't pay rent one month, and you gave you gave me the guitar, and I'm like, okay, I still have that guitar. 
<laughs> you fixed it. You had it repaired. Oh yeah. yeah. I got fixed at um at Long Beach, like World of Strings. They don't exist anymore, but <laughs> they were they were like world renowned for doing a really good job. They uh they took like two years to do it. So wow. <laughs> Well, Maybe that's why they don't exist anymore. <laughs> I'm glad to know it wasn't uh, it wasn't Phil's fault. I, I, my memory was foggy there. I, I remember that guitar breaking. That was all I remember. Yeah, I didn't hey, do anything. Can quite I also that say that I met my wife there too, so we can kind of keep this yeah. going. <laughs> oh, I met my wife at that. Me thing. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we can leave Rob out because he was already married. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Which Speedy show did you uh, meet maybe. your wife at, Rob? Uh, it was Free Spivies. That was Free Spivies. Oh, man. So, oh, well. <laughs> Hi to all the wives, by the way, no who effect. I'm sure are watching in the other rooms. So, yeah. thanks for being here with us. <laughs> Which really, I feel like like Rob's wife should be on with us, because wasn't she really the fifth Spivy? Yeah, she sold her. Well, yeah, she was working the... Working the table all the time, doing all this stuff for the merch, man. She was our, our merch queen. She was the, the queen of the merch. Most, of, out, most of my know. memories of us like going on long trips and stuff like that. I mean, Julie Julie bought a bag of ice. Yeah. 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 Aaron scraped her knee. Yeah. Not a wife. Not a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that way Aaron was not a wife. <laughs> Julie is. <laughs> <laughs> so by the way speaking of other people watching I, I forgot to welcome those of you who are watching us live and if you do have questions and comments in the chat uh please let us know and janelle's going to keep us posted so janelle if you have any questions that come up please there are questions you have already. questions you guys ready for a question wow. sure that's sure. a lot sure. all right a lot of pressure eric this is from eric Back in 2000, I asked you guys to play at my wedding. You didn't because we didn't have the budget. Oh. But I still wish you had. I guess not a question. <laughs> More of a statement. You just wanted to berate us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he met his wife up at the camp. That's what was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, that probably worked out to your benefit, Eric. I don't think the Spivvies were uh, were a wedding band. So, <laughs> no. sure, whatever you well, do. We, we have to be honest, though. I think we have played. We at least played one. We yeah. did. I remember. One wedding. <laughs> yeah, we Wait, did where one. did we play for for a wedding? Boogie Rose. Boogie Rose. Boogie Rose. I think it was. Yeah. Boogie uh, Rose. Who was wait, that? Didn't oh. we do? Didn't we do? Dabia as well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> from, from Dakota? Yeah. No, I think we did something with her and and who did she used to, who, she was Bird? Wait, how is Ivan remembering this? Yeah, Bird. This is where I, this is Bird where and I We did something with Bird and Davia. <laughs> we did. You're right. That might have been a wedding too. I remember. I thought that. it was a wedding. Yeah. I can't believe I that like popped in my head. This is anyway, a good memory Sorry we didn't play your everyone. wedding. I know, especially for me. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Eric. Okay, um, Julie uh, did chime in. Ah, oh, thanks. Yep, I bought a bag of ice. Forever <laughs> immortalized in song. And then um, right. Norman said, any memories of hey. playing Vancouver, Canada? Norman! <laughs> hey, Norman. I have really that good was awesome. I, no, I love playing no, no memories of Vancouver, just a bunch of pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I still yes. got like my two. I've got like a couple motorcycle seven inches somewhere over there. I'd go grab them, but nobody needs this anyway. But yeah, I, I remember that fondly. I remember yeah. he had the largest trampoline in the world. That was a really. That's fun what I was gonna say. Trampoline. We played in his house. I remember playing in his house for. Yeah. Some, yeah. And fun. this is Norman, who uh, Norman motorcycle, who there is a song, a Spivy song, also. Uh, yeah. Associated with him, correct? Too. Yes. Yep. That was on the first ever Popbox music CD that we released. <laughs> no? Oh, nice. Hey. Connected it back there. See, see what I did. Do you have a copy of it? The CD? Yeah. I do. I, I've got about a hundred and two hundred <laughs> more out in the garage if you guys need one. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a lot of CDs, oh. actually, if anyone needs any, I of bet. all kinds of stuff. So let me know. That's the thing about being in a band. You'll, you'll be guaranteed to have a box of your own CDs in your house somewhere. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Janelle, okay. we got another I, another couple here? Yes. So um, Tony says, it sounds like you inspired a lot of couples, including Phil and Janelle. Do you play any romantic love songs? <laughs> I thought they were all love songs. They're all about girls. Right. <laughs> this is my dad, by the way, just for, just for clarification. He knows very well. He just wanted to get that. That's about. good. Um, but chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Off our second album, Girl. Chemistry was featured yeah. on Janelle's uh, student film in college. It you was. probably don't remember, but right. she got permission for you guys to like from you guys to put a song I on did. there. I did. I don't. I did get copyright this is permission. Life. You could um, thank you. Love you. Thank you. Our fans are Sorry. so excited. Oh. Okay, got two says, 12 year olds. Um, Eric also asked. Um, tell me the story of you guys recording I Dreamed I Searched Heaven for You. I had that song stuck in my head for five years straight after that. Yeah. That's a good great song. I don't know that that was unique. That was a unique one because we where did we record that one? We did Did it. We did it at Matt's. We did it at Matt's at Tacky Land. Uh, And we were that was so Matt was doing like that rockabilly um compilation and we were trying to figure out what we could do that would be rockabilly and, and i don't remember whether it was ivan or myself that found the song but we really liked it um we just weren't i mean even though we had like that retro aesthetic going on we were not a rockabilly band at no. all <laughs> <laughs> it was a matter of trying to find something we could do and it was it was funny that we ended up like speaking most of the lyrics rather than <laughs> yeah them, right yeah i think i had the cool album. The i think i had now. the kitty wells album and uh I think I think that's where we found it. It was on the Kitty Wells album that I had. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that was a fun cover. I have a few copies of that CD in the garage too. If you guys, uh, <laughs> if you guys need one, <laughs> I somehow wound up with like a huge collection of uh, Jackson Rubio stuff. Matt Wignall sold off a bunch of it to someone, and then they sold it off to me at some point. So I got a lot of that. That's great. <laughs> okay. We got another another comment Spotify? here. A question, comment, comment? Yeah, I guess uh, you guys can elaborate. Andrea said, love to say that the boys we had crushes on made us feel creepy, in quotes. Only fans of these fivvies knew that was a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> because of the song. By girl. The way. Yeah. Yeah, Clark. Yeah, what these songs bringing people together? <laughs> <sighs> well, so that except song when we were playing churches, which brought people apart because they wanted us to sing about Jesus. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> that um, that song was a song I wrote for my wife. So, and that was that was like our code, our code word for for loving each other. So, Aww. yes. Aww. Aww. Uh, okay. Um, today? Sorry, you guys it's, have a lot of questions being asked. So, um, moving on. okay. Chris <laughs> asks this is a serious question. Uh, was oh. there any inspiration for banjo? I'm guessing you guys were just messing around one day. Oh, no. Oh. It was coast to coast. Yeah, space goes banjo. coast to coast. Banjo episode. Banjo. <laughs> yeah. Great. Great episode. I just watched that the other day. It's yeah, that's that's a classic. So we used to spend a lot of time together as a band, um, not playing music and just watching. <laughs> right. That was one. <laughs> yeah, and in that one, if I remember correctly, the sea monkey grows to like enormous proportions. Correct. That's the yeah, yeah. And that's banjo. That's banjo. That's right. Banjo. Good question. Okay, here's another one. Ben says, can we look forward to a live reunion performance later this year in conjunction with the 25th anniversary vinyl reissue of Ready or Not, Here We Come? Wow. I love all 25 years. <laughs> Is it really 25 Fine, years? Fine, I guess we can do it. 
Chris. Chris is ready. Wait, wait, to go. did I just commit myself to something? <laughs> wait, We've got it on tape. Everybody. It's live. It's it's too late. You can't take it back. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Once it's live, there it goes. <laughs> I love. I like all of that. The vinyl reissue sounded good. The playing live together sounded good. Yeah, let's make that happen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. I'll, I'll pay you for those uh, questions hey, afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more. Um, Andrea thought it. This was a reunion show. Dang. Oh. <laughs> well, it is a show, and it's a reunion. Yeah. Well, it's probably worth noting that, um, you know, it, it's it would be hard for us to, to play because I know we're all on Zoom right now. But but Ivan, tell tell the tell the folks where you are. I am in Oregon. Everyone else is in California. So it may be a little bit hard for me to telecommute and or commute <laughs> a little bit. I think you could if you wanted to. It's a it's a matter of desire. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can phone it in, but I don't know. <laughs> But maybe a one-time something. I, I think that's all they're asking for. Not like a regular, you know. Well, but I, I have a serious question because when the band broke up, who got the corporate jet? Um, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's yeah. how we do all our travels everywhere. That's, now, that's how he can afford all those CDs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Came for free with all well, the stuff <laughs> <laughs> you got that you got the rv chris so technically that's the corporate jet right that's right yeah. is the yeah, rv still in existence RV, eventually that rv could only go in reverse so yeah that lasted for so long <laughs> but yes i think back to those trips often because i was like uh i think 19 or 18 on the first tour and i helped to drive a lot in that RV. <laughs> and then I think like, how would I feel about an 18 year old driving me around the country in the middle of the night in an RV? And I don't know if I would like, be trailer. up for that. <laughs> Pulling a trailer, right. That's, you, that's because you're, you're just amazing. not tired enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, because the desperation. If you get tired enough, an 18 year old looks suddenly wonderful <laughs> to drive, so I don't have to, at three in the morning. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> all right, you yeah, have one more? That's, that's the problem with all bands, getting a live body to drive. Well, it was it was an honor, and I still I like, can't believe I got to do it. We went, I actually wound up doing three summers with you guys across a lot of different states. Yep. And then at yeah. some point after that, Rob uh, got busy with various things. Uh, I think you, what were you saying? You were tending to a circus career or something like that, Rob? You were mentioning. Yeah, that. yeah. I'm, I'm a, my, my uh, tightrope walking gig, you know, kind of, kind of started to take through. So yeah. I had to go, you know, my, my world tour of the tightrope, tightrope walkers that we did. So you, you filled in the void. That's Thanks, right. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, just for a, a brief uh, moment at the end there of these spivvies, I got to join in and uh, play bass with you guys for a little bit. And it was awesome. And I thank you again for the opportunity to do that. It was cool, though. It wasn't like a you know scandalous breakup. In fact, I went over to Rob's house, and Rob taught me painstakingly how to play each note for each song, since I was not technically a bass player before I did that. <laughs> and uh, it was I cool. Mean, I, it was a good chance for me to actually learn the songs as well. Finally, <laughs> so. I, mean, uh... I was like, oh, that's how you play it. Oh. <laughs> Let's listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually have a uh, a flyer from that initial show here too. The V Spivvy's initiation ceremony. This is the one that I played oh, nice. with uh, the first time I played at Biola there with you guys. So that was pretty cool. Oh. I think I only did like I don't know eight or ten shows with you guys, something like that. But it was there were good times. Cool. Yeah, that's really. Cool. I'm, I'm fairly certain that we took advantage of you, Phil. So I, my, uh, I would like to apologize for that now because we really liked you, and it's very cool to take a friend on tour with you. But I'm sure we never paid you, and I'm sure we uh, we got plenty of work out of you. And so, <laughs> no, it was great. You. It was a, for a college student because I had, you know, it was room and board basically. I mean, room being the back of the RV. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> and but the board, you guys, it was like fast food all summer long. All the like Taco Bell and Wendy's that I could eat. We knew how to live. Uh, yeah. and we had entertainment too. And remember. free entertainment, yeah. Yes, we had free entertainment. Nights you made and his party. dreams come true. Aww. He loved Aww. touring. Yes. Nice. I'm sure we all had like we do. But weren't there, weren't there times still when we just had to like let you hibernate, kind of? Like, oh yeah. You just uh, kind of sure. you just kind of went in the back of the RV. We didn't wake you for a couple of days, and then you're like, yeah. you go for another like week. Yep. Don't touch him. Is he alive? <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. In fact, there was one time I remember that I fell asleep like in what is it, Arkansas on that side of Texas of the Panhandle, and then I woke up again and. Oklahoma on the other side, so I slept through the whole state of Texas, technically. And that's the whole, st- and that's a big state to miss. I know. Oh <laughs> wow. And I still do that to this yeah, day. Yeah, I was gonna say nice. you still let him hibernate every once in a while. Every once in a while, <laughs> it's like, and then he's all recuperated. Then I'm good to go. Yeah. <laughs> nice. In fact, one of the trips we actually stopped at Janelle's house yes. in Colorado, <laughs> and. Yeah. If Janelle, tell us very quickly, what's your favorite story about Ivan um, on this trip? So oh, I oh. was so excited to have this these spivvies stay at my house in Colorado. This was before Phil and I were even boyfriend-girlfriend. And um, I got a bunch of cereal <laughs> to share with you guys. You had your pick. And um, Ivan picked the healthy cereal, Cashy. Cash- I don't know. Kashi. It was my Kashi. It was my Kashi. mom's cereal, and so served it all up. And then Ivan started eating it, and he's all, "What's this floating around in the bowl?" There oh, were worms. Oh, worms. Oh yeah, I remember that. I oh. said Ivan worms. I think all the rest of the spivvies like pushed their bowls. Like okay. No, there was no worms in the Frosted Flakes. <laughs> It was just no, I just think they oh. remember grabbing his ball because I was jealous. <laughs> I wanted the worms. Nutrition. Yeah, we hadn't gotten a lot of protein on this trip. You know? <sighs> I don't know and how I many tried. bites I'd taken. I'm sure I swallowed like, quite a bit of worms. worms. <laughs> I didn't know that mm. happened. And I also remember playing um, uh, 007 on Nintec- Nintendo 64 for the first time with you guys. And In I didn't RV. do too bad. That's pretty good. Nice. <laughs> That's how I knew she was the one. <laughs> was that, wasn't that PlayStation? That was PlayStation, right? Nintendo 64. We had, we had PlayStation. I think oh, we, we also had. had we had both. Thing. Yeah. 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 Luxury. We were we we were like the 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 king of the the traveling bands, right? We had the RV. We had the the old school video games in the back with with the god awful huge. We had the huge TV <laughs> that was ratcheted down <laughs> to the counter because yeah. we would be bouncing around so much. It's a good thing but we yeah, did, we were, especially we were, when we drove through the jealous. tornado. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You're you're explaining it with a little more detail because I think the whole idea of band traveling in RV sounds luxurious, and we were far from luxury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, how many times did I get sick on our tour? Like, I think I got sick on every single yeah, every tour. Time. Where I was just like yeah, wrapped time. up in a sleeping bag and sweating and fever and almost dying every single we, tour. If we made it, if we made it through Arizona with you healthy, we were pretty happy. That was a good thing. <laughs> My gosh, every that single time! Funny. Wow. <laughs> I was happy if I made it to like the Mississippi River by by the time we were still healthy, but you couldn't make it out of Arizona. Nope. No, no, I always <laughs> oh, got well. sick. It's all right. Eating those worms. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. I it think too. that kept me healthy on that tour, actually. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I don't know. Did Did uh, Ivan have it worse, or did Clark have it worse? Because what was it like? One hundred and twenty-two degrees in Phoenix when we played for that youth group. <laughs> And and oh, before uh, this is my favorite memory. Before we even started the show, his <laughs> tie was completely soaked all the way through. And that's we the haven't even test. played a song yet. 
the the tie getting soaked is actually how we measured how good a how show good the was. show was. I remember you guys telling me <laughs> far down the tie. It was always, you know that that whole thing was just lost that time. <laughs> Couldn't measure how good we were. Yeah, the, the place we were playing and didn't have air conditioning. I remember that explicitly. Wow, <laughs> that was Whoa. something. Man. There were some interesting shows on some of those trips. I remember one of them was at like a goth club in Colorado. That was the Colorado one, right? Really? I don't remember yeah, that. I remember, remember that one. That yeah. Kind of yeah. Was yeah, remember they had like cages like cage. from the cage yeah. dancers that they had to roll away from the show the night before? Yeah. And then oh, these yeah. movies. And then there was like and, some and metal band like, that played No, no, after no, you. bring the cages back. Bring the cages back. <laughs> What are you doing? Let's fill in the cage. Uh, I mean, th- there we played. Like, I'm. I. What's funny is one show in particular got into my head. Um, was that show we played in L.A. where Julie was there and Rob was like in defensive mode the whole time because it was like the craziest place. It was a punk rock band or a bunch oh, of punk rock bands. The Natural Fudge Company. That's what it was. That's what it was. Now that Natural was a fudge crazy company. show because oh. we had to wait to play last. Yeah. They kept pushing us away because we were we were in suits. Yeah. So they waited and waited and waited. And we ended up playing for a band. What's it called? Jerry's Kids or something like that. Like they were the only band that was there to hear us after the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, that was fun. Wow, and no one remember. there was nearly near to the drinking age, but they all had beers in their hands. <laughs> it was really interesting. How'd that happen? <laughs> they kept on passing the 21 card around to everyone here use this <laughs> oh, oh yeah julie and and, and then you have to wonder oh like, julie and then, and I've looked, that place is not there anymore <laughs> julie also oh, in the gosh. comments remembered natural fudge factory so yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, there's also a question that says, "Do you have any favorite fans from Downey, California, mainly named Chris Luna?" <laughs> <laughs> Very specific. Yes, yeah. he's our favorite fan yes. from Downey, California. <laughs> I'd say Chris Luna is probably in one of the top ten of Chris Luna's. Would you yes, agree? and I, I think now he's the him. only fan in Downey, California. <laughs> I think they've all yeah, moved out of Downey. So. Downey's <laughs> last no left. So, congratulations. <laughs> Downey kid. Remember them. Downey kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, then, one more, like, quick little thing, because it's going to lead into us doing some, mu- some music here in a minute. Um, for whatever reason, while Rob was in his you know circus career and i played briefly there also was a uh one official music video that was ever made and uh i have here the flyer from the be an extra in the these bivvies music video if i can get it there there oh, oh there's the directions to how to get there and uh we we have a copy of that that's a little better than what's been floating around the internet so we're going to play that for us uh, in a little bit here um, but I actually got to be in the music video, which seems very unfair because I was only in it for such a little bit. So, Rob, maybe someday we can edit a little bobblehead of you over <laughs> nah, me or something like nah, that. You did, you did a good job, Phil. You did a great job, man. I'm pretty sure Rob is in the he's in the dancing crowd. If you look for him, you can find him. <laughs> I was tight roping. I was tight rope walking between the video, between the buildings. So I, I, you know, they're in spirit. They cut that whole circus bit out. I'm sorry. No, what the heck? It's on the cutting room floor. I was like, no, no, you guys panned outside. I'm, I'm like, no. You're like, Rob, enough, enough. Janelle is in the video, though. I you am, can see her as one of the I dancers. I am dancing in yeah. the background. And many of our neighbors. Yes. A lot of there was a lot of people real on that. It was good. A real hoot. <laughs> yeah, a real hoot. <laughs> well, so I think what would be cool to do now is let's play some music for our friends in the live stream. We're going to watch a couple of things. The first one is some live footage from it's sometime at Point Loma. I think it was one of the Lala Palomas. Do we know for sure which one this was? No, I don't No. Well, it was one of them at some point. Seven. All right. <laughs> there you go. See. <laughs> But it's on the, is it the Greek theater? What's it called there? 
Yeah. Greek, Greek, Greek Amphitheater. Greek Amphitheater, yeah. Um, yeah. Which I went to a few down, down there, and Janelle went to one with me as well. I did. So I might be in the audience at this. I don't know, but you can't see me in this one. So um, we got, so there's, there's probably about four or five, something like that, songs in there. And, um, and then we'll play the music video after that. So some fun uh, vintage live footage and a cool music video. Sound good, everyone? Sounds good. Yay! Awesome. All right. Well, for all of you guys in the live stream, we're going to start out with the Lala Paloma and on to fire safety. And we'll be back with you after that. Here we go. Thank you. 
Sea monkeys. Banjo! <laughs> hey, Marcy. Hey, Spike. I got some matches. <laughs> Ooh, Fire Engine Bob said to never play with matches. Fire Engine Bob's a big weenie. Check this out. Thanks, Fire Engine Bob. Bob. You're welcome, kids. You were lucky this time. But you know what I would do next time? Use a bigger match? No, silly. It's a little dance I like to call the Stop, Drop, and Roll. never takes a vacation. I was watching it over here. And welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for letting us share that, guys. Oh, yeah. Just like that. I'm sorry that Fire Engine Bob stole your line there. 
Clark. <laughs> All good. <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> uh, so we have a couple you more know, people that commented are... really quickly. Janelle wants to read them to you, and then we'll get to you guys here. What did they say? All right. So um, Norman says, such a great band. Pretty sure I have a tape of you playing my radio show at CITR Radio. And then Steven says, woohoo, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's okay. <laughs> the good kind. We're here for you, man. We can talk you down. We can talk you down. <laughs> It'd be real to say hot flashes. I would be cool if Norman the recording for us. Yeah, Norman, we'd like to, like to hear that See for that. sure. Right? We'd love to yeah. hear it. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, where could someone send a message to these spivvies if they wanted to send them something like a video file? Smoke signal. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke signal always works. Yeah, Chris is always alert to those, so yeah, he'll keep his eye out. I believe the these spivvies has a, a Gmail account, which is one of the things I was aiming at there. Yes. Well, you can just say it, Phil. <laughs> I was trying to you lead you guys it, into Phil. it. I was trying to help you guys out. Dspivvies at gmail.com. Yeah. And a website, which is spivvies.com, that Ivan has made some website? really cool stuff. <laughs> Ivan has worked so hard on this, Chris. Didn't you know? Uh, well, yeah, really no, I, I, tried, I tried not to let Chris in on any of this. He's... Do you guys tell me anything? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Jeez. Website and an email. Next, you're going to tell me that we're on Facebook, probably, or something. We're on MySpace. We are on Facebook. And probably on MySpace Facebook. somewhere. <laughs> These babies on Facebook. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And on Spotify and other streaming services. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We need to get some some connections there with other bands. So what bands do you want them to listen to immediately before and after these spivvies so you get the good recommendations? Uh, Neubotten. Yeah, that'd be a good one. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a good one right there. Because <laughs> if they can connect us to some... industrial music, I think there'll be a lot more Germans listening to uh, music. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For some, be good for some reason, that, I remember us listening to a lot of Tom Waits. A lot of Tom Waits. <laughs> uh -huh. That was that was that was a lot, a lot of that going on. There, there was, there was, and there still was. is. I was listening to him this there morning. Is. So <laughs> good, that's, yeah, that's helpful. Find us on Spotify. Yes, please. I I was excited to see on Spotify. They have Brent's TV. That oh, was yeah. always exciting to me. All right. Well, Janelle's Damn. putting links to all of this in the comments here, and of course there'll be. There's links all over on the website as well. So those of you who are listening at home, please follow some links. Follow the, the Facebook page. Favorite the bookmark. How do you save a website? Bookmark, right? Bookmark yeah. the website. Bookmark. Yeah, bookmark the website. Oh, that's we also have the, about. nobody's done it yet, but we have the Planet Patrol uh, page on our website where we want to hear stories from people. So if you guys have uh, any stories from Planet Patrol, uh, just go on there and send it to us, and we'll update the Planet Patrol page with your story. That's right. Fun to share with folks. Everybody know what Planet Patrol you is, right? Your... right? Phil, do you have your Planet Patrol card? I do, but it's not sitting next to me here. You I like want to see something. I have so many flyers and things. Like I, I, I have so much stuff, but I didn't bring the card in here with me. So, oh, yeah, there I it is. is. There it is. Oh, nice. I still have it, which is kind of funny. I still have my glasses and the ray gun as well. Nice. We are, and we're the only ones who got to actually have our actual pictures on the Planet Control card. Everybody else, we cut your picture randomly out of a yearbook. Remember, yep. we got those yearbooks. Yep. Uh, I think the first those one we treasures. got was we were in Kansas. We were in Kansas City. We were on tour, and we we went to a thrift shop and bought a yearbook. I think, and, and or something like that, and. Yeah, we yeah. just would kind of cut random pictures out of a yearbook. Yeah. That's fun. We had we had a couple of them. I still have those yearbooks with the little pictures. Cut. <laughs> so awesome. if anyone wants to join the Planet Patrol, join Planet Patrol. Right? Too late. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. Clark Clark will supply the the items from his collection. I'm sure he has tons still left over. <laughs> Uh, so, 
recently. I, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Okay. So uh, I was gonna... I, what you guys were talking about before, um, Marilyn wants you to know that last FM, um, dot com says you guys are like plank eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we got we got we got confused for them all the time. Yeah, the day, so. yeah, yeah. They were like, "You guys, Dude, oh, well." It's very similar to. I, oh, it's funny. So we got into Long Beach once, and we were trying to drop off some records at a record store, and the guy saw our record, and he goes. Oh, dude, you, it looks like you're going to sound exactly like MC5. I mean, you're going to be just like MC5, right? I'm like, what? Who's MC5? <laughs> uh, he was making fun of us. No, not sure. the same. Cheesy little band <laughs> at the time. Jingly. Oh. Well, Steve, we do sound like MC5, though. Yeah. Steven um, also says the Venn diagram of Tom Waits and these Spivvies fans is is a circle? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay just one other one that i found here that i was going to pull out this is my lala paloma poster although it's green so i guess you can see my face or something through it there i don't know anyway but uh, well no i guess you can just see the background yeah but here's uh these spivvies i can point backwards like that I think the hardest part of learning to play with these spivvies um, was not so much learning the music, but learning how to do the Johnny Johnny whoops thing backwards so you could lead it to the crowd. It was impossible. Because <laughs> I kept doing it to myself, and you're like, no, you got to do out. I'm showing the band. I'm showing the crowd. Very difficult. <laughs> was I doing it wrong? Did I no. do it wrong the whole time? Was you did it right? right, but when you taught me, I had to learn because I was used to doing it in the audience that I was demonstrating for the audience. It's backwards. It's hard. It's like patting your stomach and rubbing your head or whatever. All right. Well, yeah, I did that on purpose, Phil. I taught you wrong on purpose. <laughs> I knew it all along. <laughs> you're like, ha ah. And now I feel like you're giving away our greatest secret. <laughs> Which What's is, that? The only what way to it? get into the band is to be able to put your hand out and say Johnny, 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 Johnny. <laughs> That's the secret you code. Do that, you do that, you're in the band. You're in the band. <laughs> it's that easy, guys. It's that, that easy. It's all it takes. Nope. I don't even play an instrument, but I know how to do that. <laughs> all right, you're in the band. You too, you too can be a city. <laughs> That was a disproportionate amount of the interview and, and audition, if I remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I, was there. I don't remember the interview process. Do it again. <laughs> the interview process of him surviving on the road with yeah. us. <laughs> yep. He can do it. It doesn't take that much to be a pace player. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding, Phil. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. no. It's... <laughs> It was challenging. Like I said, having not really played bass before, just guitar, it was it was a learning curve, but you know. You know, you, you know, since this, since this is actually your your thing, why don't we share one of our favorite memories of you? Ooh, Yay! okay. That's frightening, but okay. Right? <laughs> I cuz I was just sitting here thinking like you've been talking about us the whole time. I think it's time to talk about Phil. <laughs> All right. I remember having fun uh, using your name in like uh, names for things like Philippians and <laughs> Filiberto. Uh, get your fill of the jokes. Like, this didn't kind we of thing. play a yeah. show where you were not allowed to be on the floor and you had to stay? Yeah. You were our sound guy right. and they made you stay in the booth yep. the whole time? Yeah, because you weren't 21. That wasn't you 21, 21. Yeah. That's. No. Yeah. <laughs> We were so depraved. We were, we were not, <laughs> we were not good. Uh, what do you call it? Role models for this young man, bringing well, him into t clubs and stuff at eighteen. And then there was another one where they actually offered me beer as like payment for helping him out, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm okay. I don't think I should do that. <laughs> Be clear, that was not us. No, 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 no. <laughs> the venue, not these spivvies. Yeah, you got to drive. You got to drive after this. Yeah. Right. I'm the designated driver for the band, so. 
Well, we I don't do. know about you guys. I mean, it's kind of funny because when you think about these movies, at least for me, it, it, it was like we were always fun. We were always happy. You know, we always tried to, to kind of play that on the on the stage and with each other, of course. But sometimes when you go on tour, you just get tired, you know? And sometimes, you know, you have that plastic smile on like, okay, I think I'm having a good time, but you're really not. Phil was never like that. <laughs> Phil was like always happy no matter what. I mean, it was funny. He was, he was, he wasn't even on stage <laughs> and he was more excited about being at the places we were than we were. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, like you guys remember this? Yeah. It's like, yeah. you could never, you could never douse the, the energy of Phil while we were on tour. <laughs> yeah. It was really hilarious. Yeah. Undoubtable. It was fun time. Yeah. Did a good job, Phil. Thanks. You rock, Phil. <laughs> no, it was, it was a dream come true. That's, it really was. <laughs> and we got a friend. Yeah. My son Yay. Who thinks he's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, you know. We should respond. We're encouraging. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Luke has that shirt too. Yeah, that's a good shirt. The door. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Um. Bye. So, um, our kids want to know. They're commenting as me from the other room, but they want to know: Are they spivvies now? Because they did the Johnny Johnny. Oh, they did the code. <laughs> They are honorary spivvies. Clark will send out yeah. the Planet Patrol card to them. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, is the Planet Patrol part of it, too? Yeah. And their dues. Wait. When do they start paying the dues? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, oh. that, we'll be all excited about that one. You guys have all been paying yeah, dues all this time, too, pay. right? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, they have those pay. ray guns. Those ray guns is what we really need. Where's those ray guns? They got to be somewhere on the planet. There's one. Yeah. She found one recently. She found There's one recently. It is. I'm sure they're on Amazon. Um, yeah. And then Eric, who is a friend of um, Pop Fox, says that Phil has a happy heart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he does. Good job, Phil. But as but as we've discussed, it's either happy or sleepy. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Those are the two. <laughs> One of yep. the two. That's how I stay happy. <laughs> Got to get a good block of sleep in every once in a while. It's a lot better now that he has a CPAP. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably had sleep apnea <laughs> back then. I remember was... your snoring. Your yeah. snoring was legendary, dude. Yeah. That was epic. Yep. That's why. <laughs> now we know. I wasn't breathing that whole time. I wasn't breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it's lucky I survived. <laughs> So you with True. sleep apnea, Clark with cla with cat allergies that could have died if we would have stayed somewhere with cats. <laughs> what else? Anybody else have some kind of uh, horrendous thing that we forgot about? Yeah. Me getting sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I was yeah. I, I was even thinking there while you were talking about some of that stuff. Did did we ever do like shenanigans to one another when people were sleeping or stuff? Did we ever do stuff like that? Not that I'm aware of, anyway. <laughs> like put put shading. I think we I think we did it in, while we're already awake. So <laughs> yeah, because I feel like there were a lot of very heavy sleepers on on the trip. So I don't. How did how did we not take advantage of? That? We were too tired to think of anything <laughs> original or funny, Chris. We were just completely dead. Uh, mm. Or night, the night shows, driving all night. Now I see why people want us to come back. Can we go on one more tour? Because I feel like there's some things we can make up for. <laughs> I'm realizing this now. I never went on a real tour. I just went on fake. Right. Chris sick. is going to go gonna have the trailer. Like, we're going to be have like who threw out their back before uh, Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> Whose knee gave out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, these spookies can't perform because Rob threw his back out. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> uh. Well, you guys, um, it has been fantastic, and I think it's probably time to just about bring this thing to a close here. Um, but I have to say thank you once again to Clark, Ivan, Rob, and Chris for being here. This is spectacular. And hopefully 
uh, in my mind, anyway, this is part one of like a series. So um, hopefully you guys are are all down for that, right? <laughs> okay. We'll see. Yeah. Sure. But uh, is there, I mean, we did have some questions here and I've, I've mentioned this a number of times that there may be some other things coming out of these spivvies uh, as far as some uh-huh. releases that maybe people haven't seen yet. And I just need to get you guys commit, committed on video in front of everyone that we're all cool with this. Is this correct? <laughs> Wait, what then? <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of new releases and stuff like that. Um, we've talked about a lot of different things over the years, but I, I do think that maybe I can twist your guys' arms to get at least uh, something going here. So um, hopefully. Any, any comments on this? I'm still a little bit confused. I thought this was supposed to be the show where we eat the hot wings. So. <laughs> you didn't get your wings? <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> all right. I won't make anybody commit to anything yet then. But just know, dear listeners, that I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> we're not fighting you. I, um, I think. No, we're not fighting you. Yeah, I think I think we would want to know that people actually wanted to hear something. Um, ah, yeah. So, so you so. know what you need to do, people. All right, writing in in the comments, writing the, the comments, comments, write an email, something. those kind of things. That would be good. Listen on that Spotify, get those views up there so that those checks can start rolling in. Checks. <laughs> we can get twelve listens. Twelve <laughs> listens. Yay! <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, we're going to, we're going to wrap it up here. So thank you once again, thank you to everyone who's listening at home. And, um, we are going to be on a bit of a hiatus over the summer. Like we did last year. This is the end of this season here, our grand finale, of course, season finale with these bibbies. So we'll be back again in August. We got a couple of artists already lined up for August. So, uh, we got some good stuff coming up and we will keep you guys posted through the Potlox music page and the Beast Babies Facebook page and website, et cetera, on any upcoming developments. That's all. That's good. Yeah. That's good. good. Developments. Excellent. Good. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys once again. Would you guys like to close out the show? No? What? I don't know. <laughs> no, say goodbye. No. Anything like that? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being These are really good memories for us. So it's fun to know that there are people who who care and remember. So absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Thanks guys. It's always a pleasure to, what, what, what did Clark say? (laughs) (laughs) No. Oh, (laughs) it's always a pleasure. (laughs) And I'm, and I'm with Phil, get all the other stuff out there. Let's let's show them the stuff that they don't know. I'm with Phil. Let, let, let loose. Excellent. Yeah, we have sure. Why not? of stupid recordings that nobody wants to listen to. We might as well put them out there. Yeah, <laughs> lots and lots. All right. Julie said she'll do the merch table at the reunion show. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. We already got the merch table locked down, you guys. This is good. <laughs> That's right. She's already signed up for it. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you again, guys. Thanks for everyone listening. And uh, we'll see you guys back here in August for another episode of Potvox Presents. Bye. Bye.